I would say club cricket every day. It's a proper community feel. It's hard work running a cricket club. It's given me friendship that will be with me for the rest of my life. Club cricket. Ground zero for the sport, with approximately half a million people taking part each summer. At Sky, we decided to check up on the health of the grassroots game. We headed to Boxmoor Cricket Club, situated in Hemel Hempstead, Datchet Cricket Club in Slough, and Binfield Cricket Club, who play in the Thames Valley Leagues. However, we start at the finals day of the Slam, a tournament that's helping to revolutionise recreational T20 cricket was something that was born out of a, a standard midweek league with about five teams in it in uh, the vicinity in uh, southwest Surrey. We blew it up into a county-wide thing, 64 teams in 2018. And now we've got it rolled out in Sussex, men's and women's, and now two tiers worth of men's competitions. Well, all this is, is just providing something else on the cricketing menu. So this is our first time wearing these kits and we feel a million dollars. It, it makes us feel so good. And the umpires, whilst we were out there, they were saying, oh, what number are you? What's your name? And they were waiting to see who, who we were from our backs and, and things like that. They pick their own nicknames, you know, whatever that is. So you've got, the, you've got the strikers and you've got the hackers and whatever today. And then we work with them and, and create their own logo. Right, so it's, it's, it's essentially marketing 101. That creates an identity for the team that then builds within the club. So they say, I am playing for the Hackers on Wednesday. 12 years ago, we conducted a, a tournament in Portsmouth, and then we realized that there is enough of us to set up a team. Most of us are uh, nurses, works in the hospital, okay. Portsmouth hospitals. So if there's any injuries, you're sorted. You're sorted. You've got yeah, many yeah, people yeah, yeah. who can look after them. T20 is popular, the 100 is popular, the IPL is popular. At the end of the day, people want to replicate what they see on the television. So let's give them the opportunity to do it. Well, with the cricketing landscape ever evolving at the grassroots level, players have more options to play the game in a way that suits them. It's a long old day, 120 hours. It is, but I, for me, that's the best form of cricket. It's the nearest that a lot of our players will get to test match cricket or yeah, first yeah. class cricket to a certain point. Last year, I took a step back and I didn't hardly played any Saturdays. I was actually played a lot of midweek and I just, I had my whole Saturday to myself. And it's a shame because I want to, I want to play, like, but I don't want to commit eight, ten hours. The ECB have been doing player surveys for, I don't know, give or take 15 years. So for 15 years, the broad thing is that on a Saturday, the vast majority of people want to play win-lose cricket. Mm -hmm. So that's limited overs cricket. No, oh, you're 14 and you've watched the IPL for three weeks. Now go and block for a draw for 35 <laughs> overs. That's not what the kids want to do, generally. And what we are seeing, they want to do 40 overs, locally driven, social cricket at the right standard that starts at one o'clock. Yeah, and finishes at seven. A lot of football, Sunday football games start at 10, half 10. Like, why are we waiting until 1, 2 p.m.? Because then if you've got a social life, you know, if you want to go out for dinner with your wife or you want to go out for drinks, you know, the time you got home, the time you showered. So I don't know, like I said, each their own. We're at beautiful Boxmoor Village Cricket Club and they sent me a tweet saying there's no one more village than us. Well, we have come to find out and I'm going to help them out for a day. Matt, give it a flick. So, and it is a head. What are you going to do? Uh, we're going to have a bat. At the village level, club surviving often really is built on how you as a group can all be together as a community. Yeah. And that's what I love so much about it. And yeah, that's probably what I'd say for all clubs. To, to keep going, survive and thrive is building that social atmosphere. So we've had Boxmore firsts, but we wanted a real taste of village cricket. So we've come to watch the Boxmore thirds against the West Hertfordshire Cricket Club sixths on the local council ground around about two miles away. An opportunity for me to go and do some umpiring. Yeah. Here we go. And you will be as well. <laughs> Right, what are we bowling? Yeah, right, over right time over the wicket. Oh, no! That's out. He's out! Ooh. He's out! Not out. Nice try. Equipment called Frogbox helps clubs film their games. 
we finally got a frog box for this season. Um, so obviously through that we'll be able to capture all the games. People will be able to watch the games live if they're, if they're that bored. The, the best thing is that when, especially for people who haven't played in this game, when, when they come back and they see that someone's hit 50, the person telling them might say, oh, it was all beautiful shots, it was all covered drives. <laughs> and then previously you just have to kind of believe them, but now we can go back on YouTube and go, that was a mo, that was a mo. You got dropped on none, that was a horrible shot. We've got a fella here who like drops everything, like some absolute sitters. So that's the sort of stuff that like, as long as it's okay with him, that's the sort of stuff that like works. These clubs are getting more and more savvy with, with their social media. Mm. So, you know, they, they, we give them all the rights to the logos and they plaster them all over the place and they start creating um, the media that goes, you know, with their, who they're playing that weekend and their logos bash in the middle and all that sort of <laughs> stuff. Club cricket is run by amateurs. Like, we, are, we, we all have day jobs, we all have, uh, have other lives. We don't have the, the time and, and the presence to be able to put together a business model. Well, look, we know that we're hugely dependent on the volunteer base that we've got, and we know that the game is really time consuming to run mm -hmm. for those volunteers. So we've got to do more to make sure we make it simpler for them, more efficient to do that. Um, but really, uh, clubs are crying out for more support, um, more facility grants, more bursaries for their coaches. Ultimately, as I said, volunteers are, our, are our, really the game's yeah. superpower. The most profitable year in, in recent years was COVID year, yet there was no cricket. How did that work? Because we weren't paying rates. Right. The clubhouse wasn't being used, so the electricity was low. We, we received grants from the council. And so we ended up having a very good year because of COVID from a financial sense. Despite helping some clubs financially, COVID has had an impact on one of club cricket's most loved traditions. So since COVID, there's not been tears, and I'm really unhappy about that. I think COVID has changed a lot of things, even like how you um, interact with the ball, like you can't spit on it and you can't do those things, yeah. Yeah, you know, which is also something that's changed. You'd go from club to club and there'd be a variety. Some would just do like some cold sandwiches or something. Then some like my dad used to do teas and he'd do like beef, uh, Yorkshire puddings, beef and gravy, do the work. So <laughs> it would vary from club to club. But I do think it's a really, really important part of village cricket. A lot of clubs feel the fight, the extra 50, 60, finding 50, 60, pounds a week to pay for teas is a bit of a challenge and that's where I'm, I think we're seeing some division. This year we had a uh, little over 15,000 games of cricket played. 2019 there was about 10,000 so we've gone up about 5,000 games of cricket. Being such good friends on and off the field really makes a difference and it helps bring you back every week. Nobody wants to miss a week because they don't want to miss out <laughs> on the Saturday with their friends. It's, it's given me um, friendships that will be with me for the rest of my life and it's given me a lot of pleasure, a lot of pleasure. It's my release and, and I, th I thoroughly enjoy it.